Hi all and welcome to another beginner guide for Paleo. In this video we look at all the basic resources you need when starting out in the game and where to find them. When your adventure in Paleo begins, resources are key for making your first crafting stations, furniture, tools and so forth. So let's look at the ones you're likely going to need the most and early on. While you shouldn't have any trouble finding stone or wood, there are a few other things that are good to know. The resources around your housing plot are plentiful, but they don't regrow. Also, at the start you will only be able to gather the smaller rocks and trees as well as bushes. The larger rocks and trees require upgraded tools. Stones will later be used to craft stone brick in the forge and wood is needed for planks in the sawmill. You can acquire and craft both crafting stations by following the main quest lines. We'll cover crafting stations and craftable resources in more in-depth guides. And lastly, when harvesting stone, you will usually also get a smaller number of flint. And when harvesting wood, you will also get plant fiber, so keep that in mind. Another type of resources you will need quite frequently is fur. At the beginning, your main source for fur will be chapas. Yes, you're going to have to put those adorable fur balls down, as well as the slightly tougher to hunt Cernox. While hunting animals, you will often also get meat, which is great for cooking, as well as rarer resources like Cernox antlers, which are great for selling and making some money in the beginning. Speaking of food, meat and mushrooms as well as fish are used in the easy recipes you learn early on. It's important to make and consume food as it provides focus. Focus increases your experience from all type of activities. Mountain morals are mushrooms that can be found around your plot in limited numbers, as well as quite randomly throughout the world. And as the name implies, most likely closer to mountains. Meat and fish you get, you guessed it, from hunting and fishing. The next step up from gathering stone with your pickaxe is copper ore. You usually find rocks containing copper ore alongside smaller rocky outcrops, cliffs and at the foot of mountains. Gathering copper can also yield a small number of stone and occasionally silver ore. Another resource you might be wondering about is clay. Clay is needed to make more smoke bombs for catching insects and later also ceramic. You can find it alongside the shoreline and it looks similar to smaller brown rocks or even a tree stump. Actually, we ran past these quite a few times before we noticed them. There are several other resources which can be found at the waterside. Crystal Lake Lotus grows in shallow water. And emerald carpet moss on the shore nearby. Sundrop lilies can typically also be found quite frequently here. But you'll also find them everywhere throughout the meadows. You might also come across spice sprouts. And on rare occasions, wild garlic. Some plants are used in a few early furniture recipes while sundrop lilies are required for smoke bombs. However, if you gather plenty of them, you might occasionally chuck some into your sales bin to make some coin. The last two resources that will be of greater importance for you while still in the starter zone are leather and fabric. You can purchase the appropriate crafting stations after progressing further with your furniture skill. And you'll need Cernok hide for the leather as well as cotton for the fabric. Seeds can be purchased to get you started with production. And that was all the gatherable resources we found ourselves looking for when adventuring in Paleo's starter zone. 
we hope our quick overview will help you with your first steps in the game. If you like to see guides and tips from us, please don't forget to leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.